past the hour now. President Obama has called on Congress to pass his $447 billion jobs plan. It's called the American Jobs Act. He unveiled this on Thursday night. You may have seen the speech. It's expected to be submitted to Congress sometime next week. Now, the president's plan proposes creating jobs with infrastructure projects such as repairing roads, bridges, and schools. The plan also offers tax cuts and breaks to small business owners who hire new employees. And it proposes free training for out-of-work Americans and extending unemployment benefits beyond 99 weeks. And the American Jobs Act includes a work sharing program called Bridge to Work that is inspired by a state run program called Georgia Works. This jobs plan builds on a program in Georgia that several Republican leaders have highlighted, where people who collect unemployment insurance participate in temporary work as a way to build their skills while they look for a permanent job. Now, that program the president was referring to is the brainchild of this guy. Michael Thurman was Georgia's labor commissioner when the program started back in 2003. Good morning to you. Good to see you. That's got to feel pretty good when you oh, hear yeah. the president oh, say yeah. that. It's great. It feels good, TJ. Now, did really you know nice. it was coming? You knew he was going to be talking about that in the speech? Well, no, I didn't. Not specifically, but I had been to Washington on mm -hmm. several occasions, talked to me uh, members of the administration advocating the Georgia work strategy. Uh, what were they curious about? Did they come to you and say, hey, we heard about this program. How does it exactly work? So could you tell they were always curious and trying to find a way to implement it nationally? Yes, and we momentum picked up. Uh, President Clinton began to advocate for it across the country. And then uh, Speaker Boehner, uh, the U.S. House uh, endorsed it. And Reverend Jackson, what it does is six out of ten people who participate get jobs. Okay, now you explain it. I'll allow you to do so. You explain to our viewers uh, what it does. I know it's kind of kind of pared down for me here, but still, in in essence, the program does what? First, person is laid off, construction mm -hmm. worker. He decides that he wants to go into a new career, new job. What he can do while he receives unemployment insurance benefits, go to a potential employer and say, look, if you will train me, provide me with the skill set needed to do this job for six weeks, I can continue to receive my unemployment benefits. No cost to you. After six weeks, you can hire me or give me a certificate of completion. What we found is 60 percent, six out of ten within 90 days, have jobs. All right. Now, uh, now there are some issues with yes. the program. Not yes. everything works perfectly. So. If the president were to call you and say, hey, through trial and error, what did you all do wrong with the program that we can correct nationally? What would you tell them didn't work so well? Well, first, when I first started here in Georgia, my biggest challenge was that employees said that it sounded too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Others said, oh, it's too simple. Such a complex, vexing problem with unemployment in America. Obviously, we need a more complex solution. It was too simple. And the big thing is to make sure that all employers follow labor laws and make sure that, empo that employees are not being abused. Make sure we follow the laws, keep it simple, and empower states to be creative. Now, this was a couple of issues that do come up. It didn't really make a dent in Georgia's unemployment rate. Georgia has one of the highest in the country at 10.1% now. And the program, it started off with a bang, but I understand the numbers have gotten down as far as the people uh, participating now down to under a hundred. So why is that the case with well, the unemployment rate and the numbers of participants so low now? Well, as you know, I left the, U the Georgia Department of Labor okay. in January. When I left, we had over 5,000 people participating. Uh, the commissioner who followed me changed the program. It was his decision because it was his prerogative. But while I was there, 32,000 Georgians participated 23,000 completed the program, 16,500 employers provided training, and six out of 10 got jobs. So you're putting it on the new guy, is it? Well, no, <laughs> he made a decision. There. You know, it, it be, the, the program became so popular, mm -hmm. quite frankly, we exhausted all the revenues that were there to fund it. So it's difficult to fund this thing. The, uh, the other issue some are having, questioning whether or not this program on a national level, or maybe even locally you came up with this, if it's even legal. Because what you're doing is taking people who are unemployed and putting them in training, but at the same time, many of them could possibly be doing work for these companies for free for six or eight weeks, and then that company is under no obligation to hire that person. So like you talked about, they could be abusing workers here. Well, we had 32,000 different job seekers to participate. I'm not aware of one single complaint that was filed during the seven years I was at the Georgia Department of Labor. Obviously, there could be abuse. You have to have administrative oversight to prevent and protect the workers. But at the end of the day, in this crisis, 
where we have 14 million Americans unemployed. We can't continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Let me tell you, the 12,000 Georgians who are working today as a result of Georgia work is proof positive that Georgia works work. All right, then. He's not the Labor Commissioner anymore. We still advocate for that program. <laughs> Good to see you this morning. Thanks for coming in. We'll follow up and see if it does uh, become uh, implemented on a national level. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be there. Uh, thanks, thanks so much. Good Thank to see you. you. We're 25 minutes past the hour.